contained in these two CDs are a complete transformation program. In them, I will give you practical steps that are revealed throughout Scripture that will change your finances, health, relationships, and every situation in your life. I have found that all the scriptures on bitterness in the Bible totally apply to every assorted situation we can face during our life. From bitterness that forms through our daily labors in work, home, or ministry, to bitterness of soul that prevents pregnancy, to bitterness that causes weight gain and cancer, to bitterness that comes through physical, mental, and emotional abuse, the Bible has it all. And I've included all these insightful healing scriptures on these discs. You will find as you go through the activations on this CD that layers of blockages will come off with resulting breakthrough after breakthrough. You will experience new levels of freedom. You will be free to be healthy, free to love in your relationships, free to prosper, free to hear God's voice, and free to live your life in peace, joy, and abundance. This is an interactive soaking disc. As I read each scripture, let the Holy Spirit customize it to your particular circumstance. Allow Him to point out specific challenges that you may be going through that have caused you to get bitter. On this disc, disc one, we will be focusing on applying to every area of bitterness the power of the cross of Christ through repentance and forgiveness. On disc two, we will then release resurrection dunamis power into those areas to heal the wounds that came from the sins of bitterness. Then at the very end of disc two, I'll be breaking the curses that came from those wounds. It is of utmost importance that you do both discs and that you do them in order. Try to break them up. Maybe do one disc today or split this first disc into two days. Then after that, continue on with disc two. Please do the discs in order and don't jump ahead to the curse breaking section on disc two. You must go through the proper process of being healed before the curses can be broken. The Bible says the causeless curse doesn't alight. So once you get your soul healed through these prayers, then that curse will no longer have the ability to have the legal right to afflict you. Then we will have the authority to break the curses. We're going to start by meditating on some amazing biblical stories that one by one will point out a variety of areas in your life where you may have gotten bitter. James 1.21 says, Get rid of all uncleanness and the rampant outgrowth of wickedness, and in the humble, gentle, modest spirit receive and welcome the word which implanted and rooted in your hearts contains the power to save your souls. As we meditate on the word of the Lord, He will use it to bring healing and wholeness to our souls and our physical bodies. Let's begin by dealing with bitterness that comes from our daily labors. Have you allowed yourself to get bitter because of your job, the seeming lack of promotions or acknowledgement, maybe no bonuses or even personal time off? Maybe you've become bitter from work in ministry or service in your church. You might feel like you're seeing no fruit in serving, or maybe you're feeling unappreciated at your fellowship. Perhaps you've gotten bitter from all the hard work you do at home, taking care of the children, cleaning, cooking, and paying the bills. The Bible says that the Israelites grew bitter during their years of hard bondage in Egypt. As I read this verse, meditate on it and release repentance and forgiveness into your situation. Exodus 1.14 But the descendants of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly. They multiplied and grew exceedingly strong, and the land was full of them. Now a new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Behold, the Israelites are too many and too mighty for us, and they outnumber us in both people and in strength. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them, lest they multiply more, and should war befall us, and they join our enemies, fight against us, and escape out of the land. So they set over the Israelites taskmasters, to afflict and oppress them with increased burdens. 
And the Israelites built Pithom and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. But the more the Egyptians oppressed them, the more they multiplied and expanded, so that the Egyptians were vexed and alarmed because of the Israelites. And the Egyptians reduced the Israelites to severe slavery, and they made their lives bitter with hard service in mortar, brick, and all kinds of work in the field. All their service was with harshness and severity, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, in mortar, in brick, and in all manner of service in the field. All their service in which they made them serve was with rigor. Now, release repentance and forgiveness in any area where you have become bitter in your labors. Now let's repent and release the blood on any time you let yourself get bitter from lack of provisions of any kind. Maybe you just plain need some more money, housing, a car, physical care, clothing, supplies, even extra finances for entertainment and recreation. Have you let yourself get bitter at your spouse, your job, or your circumstances, or even God because you have lack of provisions? Exodus 15 describes how the Israelites had an opportunity to get bitter when they desperately needed water in the middle of the desert. But when they found water, it was bitter and undrinkable. As you meditate on this verse, let the Holy Spirit show you where you've gotten bitter because of lack of provisions. Exodus 15 So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, then they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days into the wilderness and found no water. When they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Marah. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. Then he made a statute and an ordinance for them, and there he tested them and said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve wells of water and seventy palm trees, so they camped there by the waters. Notice God said he tested them at the bitter waters. Once they passed the test of trusting him for everything they needed, then he promised to never put any of the diseases of Egypt upon them, and he also caused the waters to become sweet. Let's repent for not trusting the Lord and letting ourselves get bitter over seeming lack of provisions. Don't forget to forgive anyone you're bitter at.